Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn how to draw polygons in a coordinate plane and how to find the length of a side joining vertices having same x coordinate or y coordinate. First of all, let us learn how to draw polygons in the coordinate plane when coordinates of vertices are given. Now in our earlier sessions, we have learned to plot ordered pairs in the coordinate plane. Also we know that polygons are plane figures or we can say polygons are two dimensional figures having three or more sides and all sides are straight lines. For example, a triangle is a polygon with three sides, a quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides and a pentagon is also a polygon with five sides and so on. Now consider three ordered pairs 2, 1, 2, 3 and 4, 2. Now let us plot these ordered pairs on the graph. Now let us plot the first ordered pair on the graph. Now here the x and y coordinates both are positive so this point will lie in the first quadrant. So here, this is the point which represents the ordered pair 2, 1 and similarly we will plot the other two ordered pairs also. Now here, this is the point which represents the ordered pair 2, 3 and this is the point which represents the ordered pair 4, 2. So we have plotted the three ordered pairs in a coordinate plane. Now let us name these points as A, B and C. There the point A represents the ordered pair 2, 3. Point B represents the ordered pair 2, 1. And point C represents the ordered pair 4, 2. Now let us join these points consecutively. That is AB, BC and CA. Now on joining these points we get the shape of a triangle which is a polygon with three sides AB, BC and CA. Also A, B and C are the three vertices of the triangle ABC. Now let us draw a polygon in a coordinate plane having vertices minus 3, 3, 1, 3, 1, 0 and minus 3, 0. For this let us plot these four vertices in this coordinate plane. First of all let us plot the ordered pair minus 3, 3 in the coordinate plane. Now here the x coordinate is negative whereas the y coordinate is positive. It means that this point will lie in the second quadrant. Now here as x coordinate is negative so from 0 we will move 3 minutes to the left of 0 and we will reach at this point then y coordinate is 3 which is positive so from this point we will move 3 units upwards and this is the point which represents the ordered pair minus 3, 3. Now let us plot the second ordered pair in which the x and y coordinates both are positive which means that this point will lie in the first quadrant. Now here, this is the point whose x coordinate is 1 and y coordinate is 3. 
Now let us plot the third order pair, which is 1, 0. Now here, the x coordinate is 1, so we will start from 0 and move 1 unit to the right of 0 and we will reach at this point. Now here the y coordinate is 0, it means we do not move any unit up or down. So we will stay at this point and this is the point whose x coordinate is 1 and y coordinate is 0. Similarly, we will plot the fourth ordered pair which is minus 3, 0. So this is the point whose x coordinate is minus 3 and y coordinate is 0. Now let us name these points as A, B, C and D. Here we always label the points consecutively like A, B, C, D or A, D, C, B. Now let us join these points consecutively that is A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. Now this is a polygon with four sides A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. So it is a four-sided polygon which means ABCD is a quadrilateral. Now let us see how to find the length of a side joining vertices having same x coordinate or same y coordinate. Now here consider two points A and B with same x coordinate. Now here the x coordinate of both these points is 2 and here the y coordinate varies. Now let us plot these points on a coordinate plane. Now here this is the point A with coordinates 2, 3 and this is the point B whose coordinates are 2 and 1. Now on joining these points you can see that we get a vertical straight line. Similarly consider two more points with same x coordinates. Now let us plot these two points on a coordinate plane. Now here, this is the point C whose coordinates are minus 4, 1 and this is the point D whose coordinates are minus 4, minus 2. Now again, on joining these points, we will get a vertical straight line. This means Whenever the x coordinate of two points is fixed and y coordinate varies, then the line joining these two points is a vertical line. And now consider two points with same y coordinate. Now here the y coordinate is same, that is 5 and the x coordinate varies. Now let us plot these points on a coordinate plane. Now here you can see this is the point E whose coordinates are 1 and 5 and this is the point F with coordinates 4 and 5. Now on joining these two points we get a horizontal line. This means whenever the y coordinate is fixed and x coordinate varies in the ordered pairs then the line joining such points will be horizontal. Now on the graph 
length means distance between the two ordered pairs. Now from the graph we can find the length of line segments AB, CD and EF. Now AB is formed by joining the points A and B whose X coordinate is same and Y coordinate varies. And here the change in Y coordinate is the difference between the y coordinates which is 3 minus 1 that is equal to 2. So length of AB is equal to 2 units. So if we have a point A with coordinate x, y1 and a point B with coordinates x, y2 that is the x coordinate is same and y coordinate varies then length of the line segment joining these two points that is the length of AB is equal to the change in Y coordinate which is Y2 minus Y1. Now as the length is always positive so for finding out the length of AB we will take the absolute value of Y2 minus Y1. Similarly, from the graph we can find length of CD which is equal to absolute value of Y2 minus Y1 which is equal to absolute value of minus 2 minus 1 which is equal to absolute value of minus 3 which is equal to 3. So length of CD is 3 units. Now for the line segment EF, the X coordinate varies and y coordinate is same. So for finding out the length of EF we will find the change in the x coordinate. So here the change in x is equal to the difference in the x coordinate which is 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3. So length of EF is equal to 3 units. So if we have a point A with coordinates x1, y and point B with coordinates x2, y that is where the x coordinate varies and y coordinate is fixed then the length of the line segment joining these two points will be equal to the change in x coordinate which is equal to x2 minus x1 now as the length is always positive, so we will take the absolute value of x2 minus x1 for finding out the length of AB. Now let us find the length of the sides AB, BC, CD and DA from the given graph. First of all, let us find the length of AB. Now here, for the points A and B, the X coordinate is fixed whereas the Y coordinate varies. So length of AB will be equal to the absolute value of Y2 minus Y1 which is equal to absolute value of 0 minus 3 which is equal to absolute value of minus 3 which is equal to 3 units. Now let us find the length of BC. Now for the points B and C, the X coordinate varies, whereas the Y coordinate is same. So length of BC will be equal to absolute value of X2 minus X1, which is equal to absolute value of 1 minus of minus 3 which is equal to absolute value of 1 plus 3 which is equal to absolute value of 4 that is equal to 4 units. Now let us find the length of CD. 
Here for the points C and D, the x coordinate is same and y coordinate varies. So length of CD will be equal to absolute value of 3 minus 0 which is equal to absolute value of 3 which is equal to 3 units. Now let us find the length of DA. Now here for the points D and A, Y coordinate is same and X coordinate varies. So length of DA will be equal to absolute value of minus 3 minus 1 which is equal to absolute value of minus 4 which is equal to 4 units. And you should remember one thing that whether we take the length of AB or BA it is the same thing as here by taking the absolute values we are getting the same results for the length of AB or length of PA. So in this session we have learned how to draw polygons in a coordinate plane and how to find the length of a side joining vertices having same x coordinate or same y coordinate. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.